Hi, I'm Carolina, your podcast host and expert wound healer. Over the past five years, I've served over 500 women to remove physical blockages in their bodies. We achieved this with Reiki. I believe healing doesn't have to be done alone, nor should it be. You will hear stories of healing, methods to heal with, and guest speakers covering taboo topics you won't hear anywhere else. Let's continue this journey of womb healing together. Hi, I'm Carolina, your podcast host and expert Reiki womb healer. So today we're talking about a very important topic. What limiting beliefs are holding you back from conceiving? I think it's very important for us to start with defining what a limiting belief is or just in general what a belief is. A belief is something that you hold to be true for yourself. So you can have positive beliefs and you can have limiting beliefs and these can affect your life in different ways. Your beliefs create your reality. So what you believe to be true for you is what we're going to produce and invite more of into our life. So if our belief is limiting, meaning it's negative or is holding ourselves at a certain level or containing ourselves in a certain place, it will only allow so much into our lives. For example, a limiting belief could be, it's just not my time, or I'm too old, I'm not ready, or I'm not doing enough for my fertility. Those are very common limiting beliefs within the trying to conceive community, the fertility community is a very common, I'm not doing enough to conceive, is probably the most number one limiting belief I hear in clients. So with this is, okay, so what do you do about it? How do you change it? Where did it come from? Limiting beliefs typically come from life experiences, but also are inherited from our parents. So if there were fertility issues in our family, that could have been inherited. A lot of other limiting beliefs are related to worth and self-esteem. But the number one issues that I work with go back to worth and trust. So how much can you trust your body? How worthy am I of the thing that I want? So trusting our bodies is super important. If we don't have trust in our bodies, where did that start from? Where did the limiting belief originally come from? Do we still, as our current adult self, still believe in that belief? And if we do not believe, what are we going to replace it with? So, and sometimes we're not ready to go gung-ho and change all of these beliefs at once. I recommend identifying what is the story that you say to others? What is the narrative that's going on in your head? Because that's going to tell you the truth about what you believe about your fertility. Is this hard? Is this easy? Is this complicated? Does it have conflict or does your fertility cause X? So, or your infertility causes X. This is very similar. You'll hear, you know, if you're on TikTok or on Instagram and the mainstream thing now is manifesting and money and how to manifest more money and your mindset regarding it. So it's very similar being like, what do you believe about money? Is money a tool? When I was doing my money healing journey, I believe money caused conflict. I learned that as a small child, that money is also a very limited thing, that there wasn't enough for it for everyone, and that money was evil. I have since healed those wounds. I know very, very well that money is a tool and it's energy and it's a currency. So it's not, there's enough for everyone, but I had to debunk that. I had to do the inner work. I had to first identify and realize that there was a belief that was holding me back. So where we start is what is the story that we say about our fertility and what parts of that do we say to ourselves and to others that we need to change? Because our mindset starts with what we think, what we feel, and then how do we change it? It's realizing that as an adult, we have the ability to choose what we believe. It's a decision we make for these beliefs. Any belief that you have, good or bad, limiting or limitless, is a choice. 
And we make that for our subconscious mind, either through life or again, we inherit it. And a lot of our beliefs are when we're from very small. So we need to go ahead and check those as adults. Do we still believe this? And often not. Often we don't believe them anymore. As adults, we don't believe what our parents did or what was their truth is not our truth. So how do you change them? It goes back to deciding what we want them to be. My fertility is easy. My fertility is not complicated. And saying that over and over, using that new language, and then really allowing yourself to either heal a wound that may have caused the limiting belief. And you can use Reiki for that. Also, NLP is really great, which is neuro-linguistic programming. It's reprogramming of your subconscious mind. And affirmations work very, very well. Also, sometimes it's like cold turkey. Some people are like, I'm just done. I'm tired. And this is it. And for me, the best way to implement a new belief is I put up affirmations around the house. I will buy something new that will allow me to feel different about the thing. So like for trying to conceive, if you're going through IVF, you might want to buy a nice organizer for all the medicines and the needles that you might need. Or maybe you're actually buying something for a baby. You're creating space for that thing to come in or also changing the energy, how you feel about it. Because feeling in along with your belief are super entangled. So what is the most important thing to know about limiting beliefs and how that holds you back from conceiving? Is what we believe is what will come true for us. If you believe at the core that this is never going to happen for you, but you continue to try, that's going to be really complicated. So I want you to give yourselves the best options and to boost your fertility with whatever it is your fertility plan may be. But make sure that like down to the core that you believe that your fertility is possible for you. And I had a client say, well, how do you know that you believe this enough? I compare it to gravity. I want you to believe as much into your fertility that is coming true for you or whatever it is, the belief that you're establishing for your fertility, that's up for you to define. And again, I'm not here to define what your limiting beliefs are and what they're going to be to the point that subconsciously you believe gravity is real. You know, every time you pick up your foot, it's going to hit the ground because gravity there exists. That you are trusting your belief about your fertility to that degree, to that depth, to that truth. And I think that introducing the idea of like, what is our belief around fertility is also an interesting conversation that's not often had. So this is not just about manifesting a baby and manifesting our will into being or existing, but it's the language we use. It's the, and then how does that language affect our body? How does that affect our energy? How does that affect our actions? So having a belief that is positive and that you believe that to be true is going to set in motion changes in attitude, changes in emotion, changes in how you approach a situation, changes in the conversations that you might have with your doctor. It might impact the decisions that you're making or consider the options that are for your fertility journey. So limiting beliefs could be holding you back from fertility and conceiving could actually be harming your fertility journey. Because perhaps if you believe that this is not going to happen for you, but you do want a baby, then you might be limiting the options that you have available to you because your heart and your mind are not open to even hear the conversation. Or maybe you don't hear what the doctor is saying, or you're not ready yet to go see the fertility specialist or see what options they have for you. So take a look, see what your beliefs are around fertility. Are they negative or positive? What needs to change and what do you want to change them to? And I would love to hear, send me a voice note on Instagram to know 
what your beliefs are now. What are you transforming them into? Until next time, my friends, I'm so blessed that you're here and I'm so honored you've let me be a part of your journey. I hope you have a great day. It was an honor to connect and serve you this week. If you are a spiritually curious person wanting to conceive and heal blockages in your fertility, click the link in the episode description to learn more about the Fertility Foundation Collective. Until next time, my friend, know you are loved.